we may now take our seats. Thank you very much, Tapilanan City Coral, under the baton of Maestro Jos de Juan. For all those who are new and for those uh, strangers from Bohol, we would like to uh, announce that uh, the singing of the national anthem in Bohol should also be presented be followed by the singing of the provincial and the city hymns and it's a provincial and a city ordinance so we would be compelled to sing and probably that could probably be the reason why Bohol is such a singing province and uh, without further ado we may call on uh, city mayor uh, John Jester uh, Yap for the welcome message please put our hands together for you. Thank you sa ato ang suod na higala na si Ray Anthony Chu, nagala itong masipang paspas paleo. Our Presidente of Communications Operations Office Secretary, Secretary Jose Roberto Martin Andanar, nagala itong masipang paspas. Despite his busy schedule, nagalit siya din yung kuyog na ito, kung bisaya yung kunik o na yung grassroots din yung isang buhol. And of course, our Governor of the Province of Bohol, Governor Edgar Chato, a bill presented by Provincial Administrator A. Damalerio, na padong pa din eh, tagaan itong masipang pakpak. Our PCOO Director, Maria Florinda Princess Pebbles Duque, tagaan niya po na ito sa masipang pakpak. Our Director General of the Philippine Information Agency, Mr. Harold Lavite, tagaan niya po na ito sa masipang pakpak. PIA Bohol, Mr. Ray Anthony Chu, a big round of applause, please. To all the information officers from all over Bohol, communications officers and friends from the media, to all of us here, good afternoon. Foremost, let me warmly welcome our guests who are here with us today for this very important gathering. I hope you have experienced the Bonholano hospitality while you are here. Allow me to likewise welcome everyone in this venue, my fellow colleagues in the government service, coming from the different LGUs and national government agencies, information officers from the academy, business sector, NGOs, members of the media, and all of us here. Once again, good afternoon and welcome to the launching of the Provincial Communication Officers Network. We are indeed thankful that finally the PCO Network has finally reached our shores and we are now part of the National Information Dissemination Network. Everybody would agree that the constant flow of updated, relevant, and timely information is important to everyone. Without the right information, people in societies would be isolated not only from the rest of the world, but from governments and policy makers. However, getting information is not enough. We must be able to obtain correct and relevant data before cascading the information to the public. With the Provincial Communication Officers Network, we hope to obtain the right information direct from the sources. Our information officers shall serve as partners to bridge communication from the national government to the LGUs, academe, and private sectors. The network will provide a coherent and efficient flow of information that is especially crucial in this time when fake news abounds. It will definitely reinforce the proper communication channels in the whole country. We therefore congratulate and acknowledge the initiative of the Presidential Communications Office and the Philippine Information Agency. Thank you for your consistent efforts in reaching out to our people. This is a strong indication of the continuing commitment of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's desire to connect with people and communities. So let us give a big hand to PCO and PIA. On that note, and on behalf of the city government of Tagbilaran, I welcome you once again to the launching of the launching of the Provincial Communication Officers Network. Daghan kayong salamat, asenso pa more, and congratulations to all of us. Salamat, City Mayor uh, John Jesteria. May we request our guests to please occupy the presidential table. Thank you. So we move forward. Our speaker is a pioneer in the world of digital media. He's one of the she's one of the 
Project Lead Social Media Coordinators of President Duterte in his campaign. She currently manages the social media team and partners with the influencers of the country. A graduate of the Communication Arts in Miriam College, she has postgraduate course with the Le Roche Hotel Management in Switzerland. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome PCOO Director of the New Media, Director Princess Pebbles Duque. Ay nung hapo sa iyong tanan, mga guwapa o guwapa. Tama ba? O maagang hapo sa iyong tanan. Tama? So, magandang magandang umaga po. Ah, hapon po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Director Princess Duque ng PCOO. Ngayon po, ako po yun dito kasama na rin ng ating mabuti kakilihim na sa Secretary Marlene Andalar at ang aming team para ipahiwatik sa inyo ang mga programa na, na aming gustong uh, ipa-share or i-share sa inyo dito sa Bohol, no? Um, first of all, no, there are two things that we want to, there are two uh, topics or or, or uh, projects that we want to give to you to understand this campaign why uh, kailangan natin itong paimsahan and we have, we have to work together, no? So first of all, PC Net in Bohol, I will, uh, I will, um, tell you more about the Provincial Communications Network. So the Provincial Communications Network is a, to build rapport between the Presidential Communications Office and the local government unit of each region. We want to deliver news and updates to the local government from the executive branch with, of course, the help of our PIA or Philippine Information Agency. And, and we also want to help and enhance the quality of communication of executive branch and local government unit of each region. So we will all work together on this because there is a cost that we have to actually face. No? Us information officers, when we are going around um, the Philippines, um, what we do is that we actually engage with all of information officers and ask them, how is your communication here? How is your communication flow here? How do we adjust to your communications here? Because this is how we are serious about disseminating viable information to everybody here. Okay lang mag-English ako, so magtatagalog din ako ng content. So, so next please. So, now first of all, now, I want, we want you to introduce what is PCOO now. No, there are a lot of changes happening happened here in the PCOO and we want to to give you a glimpse of what it is now with the Presidential Communications Operations Office. Oops, sorry, what else now? Answer. Stop on that. For the Presidential Communications Operations Office, it means major improvements to our government own communication channels. To ensure that our policies and programs are communicated efficiently, on ground, on air, on print, and online. Our national radio, that is Filipina, is now number seven in terms of ratings, coming from nowhere during the previous administration. 104.3 FM2, our national FM station, is also number one in surveys. Our newest FM station for the youth, 87.5, is now on air. Now with more content and better equipment, PBS has gained a lot of new and loyal listeners of the government. The People's Television Network now has a plethora of new shows with news airing in the morning, noon time, evening, and late night. PTV has increased its transmission from 25,000 to 55,000 watts, making its reach much wider and its quality at par with the international counterparts. In 2018, we are further increasing it to 120,000 watts. We have also moved home TV shopping from day broadcast to a later schedule in order to give way to more public service shows. The Philippine News Agency has been developed into a digital news center, transforming the dilapidated production of the past into a new and modernized look of today. PNA 
now offers an online newscast in order to compete with other news agencies. The Philippine Information Agency has strengthened its communication to the grassroots, spread across 80 regions across the country with more than 100 information kiosks. PIA's presence has reached further into the heart of our masses. PCO has also signed significant memoranda with other nations such as Russia, China, Cambodia, Japan, and soon Thailand to strengthen our ties through multimedia sharing and exchanges for more efficient information dissemination. Now more than ever, PCO has involved itself in communicating the public policy of the executive branch. We established a comprehensive communications committee to integrate all government-owned communications agencies to deliver these information to the public and all platforms. Let's take a look at the great strides we've made with this partnership. The Terranomics. This campaign highlights the Duterte administration's economic, financial, and infrastructure policies to position the Philippines as a strong investment partner in the global arena. Defend Republic, a campaign to rally the nation to be vigilant against violent extremism and to advocate peace and stability throughout the country. Real Numbers PH is our initiative to assure that accurate and verified figures related to the government's campaign against illegal drugs are disseminated to the public. ASEAN 2017 The year-long campaign to promote the Philippines Chairmanship of ASEAN 2017, which coincided with the celebration of ASEAN's 50th climbing anniversary. PCOO has covered the 29th Sea Games in August 2017 and brought the event close to home. Task Force Bangang Marawi convened different agencies tasked to rebuild and rehabilitate the city and to communicate the government's action plans to reconstruct, restore, and revitalize Marawi. In partnership with the Department of Energy, we launched ePower Home with the goal of empowering consumers by promoting alternative energy resources. Biyayan ng Pagbabago communicates the government services to alleviate poverty and to improve the living conditions of the marginalized. Rehabilitation is the Philippine government's all-encompassing campaign against illegal drugs under the Interagency Committee Against Illegal Drugs. In 2018, you can expect even more upgrades to our government-owned communication platforms such as the groundbreaking of the Mindanao Media Hub that will house the various PCOO agencies in the region in order to produce more integrated messaging and to strengthen the transmission of PTV and the Philippine Broadcast System in Mindanao. The establishment of the Government Strategic Communication Center to house trainings in order to develop the communication skill set of our government information officers from all over the country and the national branding to position the Philippines anew in the eyes of both domestic and foreign audiences. These are the exponents of change under a working PTO. Join us in being a partner for change in the years to come. So there you go, that is all the changes that happened in PCOO and thanks to our very, very good Secretary Martin Andalar and also our President Duterte Palakpongungpo natin sila. No? So there are a lot of things that will be happening and we want, gusto namin lahat tayo magkakasama in benefiting for all of those changes, lalo lalo na when talking to our communities down the grassroots. Tama mo ba mga information officers? Right? So, um, we also would want to um, tell you more about the Presidential Communications Operations of uh, PCONet or Provincial Communications Network wherein nakita nyo na yung mga registrations nyo kanina. Um, once you've registered, you're already part of it. Okay? This is, you're already part of a working team of the PCOO where we want to disseminate real messages or yung mga totoong mga uh, balita, no? good news, mga balita sa gobyerno para makaabot sa ating mga komunidad. So, um, there's another video about the uh, Provincial Communications Network and where we have got through that.
there you have it. Now we're very, very happy that we are now here in Bohol and Provincial Communications Network has reached your place. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa, for us being here and we will always work together. So, next will be that we would like to um, also promote our uh, Facebook or social media page, which is the Provincial Communications Network. Um, once that I've uh, expressed that in two days, we will, all, uh, we will be contacting each and every one of you to be part of our data, wherein araw-araw na namin kayo bibigyan ng magandang uh, mga balita. Mga balita coming from the executive branch. Next. Also, we have our Instagram. Uh, we're also uh, plugging our Instagram here, so please try to follow our Instagram. Who, who here are internet users? Everyone here, right? Every information officer, I think, has all the kinds of tools we need for communication. And internet is also part of it. Next. So we also have emails. We, we do our email blast para lang to make sure no, na talagang na, natatanggap ng bawat isa ang mga balita at nasi-share ba ito. Lalo na lang kapag information officers natin relates to them like DOH or say DBWH, right? So at least alam niya na kung ano yung mga balita galing sa taas at sa iba ba. So now, there are, there's another thing that we are here. It's not just a provincial communications network. The reason why we want na maging strong ating in, uh, communications with each other, engagement with each other as a team is because we have to face yet another topic which is the dismiss disinformation. So the objective of this misinformation is that a full-blown campaign of how to counter fake news and to educate each and every one, pe uh, the people, especially the youth, on how to dismiss information. Next, please. So, I understand that I am presenting to you that the youth Filipino right now. Why? Because the youth Filipino right now are more on, uh, pe the people mostly are online. Right? So, um, we have to understand our target demographics, uh, which is the Filipino youth. Before, during the election, 37 of the youth were the voting, uh, the largest percentage of voting population at that time, 2016. Next would be. So you would see that they are very globally aware. The youth today are adaptive, active, and optimistic, independent as well. So optimistic. I really think that the information officer would actually help out and see no, to it now why uh, youth, there's a parang kinang target na ng mga kabataan. Next. So, if you would see, there are different demographics of each uh, of youth today, which is, where do you go to? Do you, are you a baby boomer? Who in here is a baby boomer? Or are people here uh, the millennial? So, you would see the differentiation. Next. So, Youth for Truth is that youth, that we want to let them understand the youth and the behavior of new media. Next. So profile of Facebook users are more of like on uh, around 13 to 17 years old and up, no? So if you understand the profile of Facebook, the people and its audience, now you can actually create more viable content of your target market, right? Next. So the, we have to understand first, what is the digital landscape here in the field? Ano ba ang nangyayari sa internet? Dito sa Pilipinas. So right now, we are 105.7 million. And then, 67, and six, 67 million are all internet users and all active social media users. Everyone, are you all active social media users? Please raise your hand. Yes, right? So <laughs> every day, we are on Facebook. We wake up in the morning, what? What do we do first? Selfie. Status, diba? I have a great day, diba? So yun. Next. <laughs> Annual control growth, we have 12%. Next, please. And the most active social media platforms that we use, even in Filipinos, are what? Facebook, YouTube, Messengers. It's actually, nandito na sa atin eh, yung laging kailangan may kausap tayo. Eh kung kakausapin naman natin sila, dapat sana, yung pag-uusap tayo sa kanila ay eh, yung 
pagdedisseminate na ng talagang totoong balita. Tama po ba? Next. So time spent is 9 hours uh, to 29 minutes and yun. Next please. Okay, social media news, sinabi ko namin na 67 million. Next please. So frequency of internet use is 58% annually for for every day at 28%. Next please. So you for truth. This is now today we have the youth's president, eh, you know? Like a lot of the youth today, even even not just the youth, no, pero lahat tayo ay yung presidente natin kailangan kilalanin natin. Number one, our president has his presence, he establishes his presence with everybody. He actually attends to the needs of others, di ba? Nakikita nyo na pumupunta siya sa talagang mga pasyente, kung kailangan niyong pumunta doon, talagang dadalawin niya. Next. He also is equal. He wants everybody be equal in all of their rights. Lahat gusto niya may opportunity. Hindi lang na, na yung maliit, pero lahat. Next. And then, he always listens. He knows the problem of the Filipinos. If this is the problem, then he wants to solve it. Next. And he is a, what do you call this, sorry, an encourager. So he encourages us all and gives us pride of who we are now as a Filipino, right? So, next. So, because of that, the president is really much more of like geared towards on, on how to take care of our youth or uh, our audiences right now. So we cannot turn a blind eye on the scourge of illegal drugs that threatens our youth and the future of our societies. And, it, uh, and he encourages our youth to dream big and aspire for um, greatness, not just for themselves, but for the entire nation. So he also challenges that my fellow adults to allow our youth to play a role in shaping. So kaya tayo mga information officers, we should be part of the youth where we shape them in our content, in the way we communicate with others. Because that is right now which has a big chunk or part na pagig ng communication natin dito sa mga audiences natin ngayon. So youth for truth, but there is a problem that we have to face, di ba? The problem is that this information is the problem. Next. This information destroys two things. Number one, it destroys the society and it also destroys ourselves. Because whatever is na mali informasyon na nabibigay mo, ang panlilin lang ay hindi tama. Okay? It's either you are being maligned or victimized or not. Next. So misinformation, disinformation, ano yung pinagkaiba niya? Misinformation is for a nation that is false, but the person who shares or speaks to it does not know that is that this is false. So, di natin alam, ano, aware tayo, meron na-share na pala tayo, kasi ang ganda ng picture eh. Diba? Pero, na-share natin, na-inform natin yung iba, pati sila na damay. So, how's that? This information is that information that a fall, uh, it is a false with the intent to mislead a person. So, ikaw mismo, ikaw ang gumagawa ng disinformation na yun sa taong yun. Whether or not you're misinformed, once you share that fake news, then you are, you are a disinformed. Next. So, over the past years, there are a lot of disinformation happening in the um, internet. Especially because information is very accessible now because of social media, internet. Diba? Ang dali-dali na lang gumawa ng news ngayon. Whereas before, there's editorial. Ngayon, when this information, kahit sino pwede gumawa, matuto ka lang. Matuto ka lang mag-Facebook. Tama? Next. So now that is why we are very, very um, tight with um, promoting our dismissed disinformation. This is the first, and this is the parang pinaka- um, stronghold ng PCOO ngayon because being the mandate of the communications of the PCOO, we want to actually help out our Filipinos to do this, uh, to dismiss this information. So how to dismiss this information? Guys, you have your 
flyers here, right? So, if you read through it, number one, you have your read carefully. Before sharing anything online, read the entire post first and not just the headline. Then number two, look for mistakes when reading. Look for obvious mistakes, diba? When you're reading, kailangan tignan nyo kung mali ba yung spelling? Meron bang kakaiba dun sa ano na yun? Article na yun? Maniniwala ba talaga tayo sa article na yun? And third, verify the social media posts. Kung hindi ka sure about sa post mo, you can always search other reliable websites kapag lumabas na yun. Diba? Minsan kasi na ano tayo na gusto natin mauna eh. Kailangan na natin, social media gives us the opportunity to be the first one to give up the news. Even if I am just a normal citizen. Okay? But sometimes, sa sobrang nauna tayo, mahirap na susunog tayo. And we become disinformation. We, we do disinformation. Or we inform others. And now you also have to browse through the comment or review comments from other leaders. Sometimes you can find warnings counter arguments from other people who are more familiar with the story. So, do sa comments, nakakatulong na rin yung mga tao na, Uy, fake yun! Hindi ata totoo yun! Photoshop! So, mag-isip tayo kung dapat ba natin i-share o hindi. And then, think twice before sharing, before clicking that share button and think about its effect on other people. So, guys, I understand that this is just a flyer that you have. Mara malaking malaki pa yung scope ng dismiss this information. Okay? Pero because of these flyers that you have right now, you can actually share your knowledge about it and actually tell others how to dismiss this information. Because because of that, you don't know it. Eh, you're saving other people from misinforming themselves. Right? So let's work together in making this happen. As information officers, we need to make that communication flow going, um, ongoing, not by stopping it by another different or um, fake news or disinformation. Are you with me guys? Are you with me? Yes, thank you. So next. So this is uh, one of the campaigns that we did for um, the recent Barangay elections led by Secretary Martin. So you're playing sounds for So we created a, a ano, na sound. Wala yung nagsasound eh. So, paki-play na lang. Naging clean, fair, and honest ang daang barangay at SK elections. Dahil inyong dinismiss ang disinformation. Lahat tayo ay naging makinapis at magalino kaya't naiwasan ang paggalat ng mga maling balita at informasyon sa social media. Saludo po ako sa bawat responsable botante na ibinoto ang karapag-dapat at hindi nagpadala sa mga dirty tactics ng ibang kandidat. Ito po si Secretary Martin Atanar, ang tagumpay ng inyong mga inalawin na barangay officials ay tagumpay nyo rin at tagumpay ng ating bayan. Laging tandaan, dismiss this information. So there you go. So those of one of the campaigns that we did for this barangay election. Um, so I leave it. I leave it to you now with this word that we want to impart to impart with you. A well-informed citizenry is at the heart of a dynamic na nation building. And us, all of us here, kailangan tayo sabay-sabay natin as communicators, as information officers, dapat tayo ang nag well empower ng ating um, citizenry. That being said, no, I will actually give the floor to our good Secretary Martin Antenar for his message to all of us. Salamat, Pebbles. Ang ato ang mga VIP, I would like to greet them. Ang ato ang uh, acting governor ka lang. Uh, si Vice Governor Dionisio Balite, Governor Chato, Provincial Administrator Alfonso de Malerio. Present po Si board member Benji Arcamo as a man's board member. As the problem. Uh, si board member Lupito Avenido. Board member Romulo 
Sergio Rosa. Ang inyohang kwan artista ko na wala mo na si John Prats. Itong John Prats. Uh, si Mayor Yap Baba. Si Palagpala si Mayor. Si Yap. Ngao na ba mo? Siguro. Uh, atong City Vice Mayor, si Jose Veloso. Ito ang uh, City SK Federation President, si Tom Vergara. Ah, sa mas Tom? Tom? Ah. Ah, o taking sa alas Tom. Kuan po, linyo po nito po. Bantay mo na niya. Uh, also, ang um, kaluha, ang kaluha ni Bongo, si Congressman Arthur Yap. <laughs> akong kauban, dari sa akong wala, si Director General uh, Labite ng Philippine Information Agency. Ang uh, maayong tour guide na po, si Ray, ano ito? Tinto ko, Ray. Ang pinaka-guapa na regional director sa PIA, si Faye. Tinto ko ba? Para magitan ka nila. Sa mani, siya, quarter turn. At si Director Benji Felipe, sa likod. Director na, kameraman pa. Uh, si Director Ninyo Bonito, PCO, ang pinakaniwang na mo na kaupan. Uh, Pasagdan is kusina. O uh, ang iyang kaluha, si Pebbles Bonito. Pebbles, Director. Ayaw ka naman, bakpaan si Pebbles. Saan ka ba na ako? by the way, kami sa among pamilya, we are a family of uh, music lovers, uh, musicians. Among mama, si Mama Titos is a concert pianist. My father is a tenor, he can also play the guitar. And uh, he was very active during his Uh, college days and uh, semin seminario days as a member of their glee club. Uh, ako po, na po kayo talent gamay. Gitara kaya po, member kaya po sa glee club. The reason why I am telling you this is because I would really like to congratulate Mayor Riyap and ang baton sa koral di Tagpilaran si Butch, the one, as was Butch. You know, I want to tell you this, frankly, from the bottom of my heart. Mauning pinaka nindot, pinaka guapo na government choir na akong nadonggan. Do you agree with me? Na binag katong Number one, Lupang Hinira. I have never, I have never uh, heard Lupang Hinira sung as beautiful as it was sung here in front. And it was really from the heart. So, ito ang uh, akong ihalad, akong lawas, o kalag para sa mutiak ng buhol. So, kato ay ang uh, I was very fascinated and almost uh, teary-eyed because uh, this is actually my third time in Tagbilaran, but uh, this will be my first time in Bohol that I will visit my old town, Garcia Hernandez. So, ang ako manggong lola, 
Lola Lily. Pero ako, kung sa may common, common, denominator, common denominator sa mga bolanon, guwapo, di ba? Guwapo <laughs> na. Oh, morning. I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, so, muna, Oscar sa baang kain. Sa mga nang palahubong, mga nang tingog ka. Sa iyo pa mga kain. Si Oscar, kung ano isa, taga-median, isa median, si Po. Tindog sa ba? Oh, sa baang kayo. So, anyway, this is my first time to visit my hometown. My grandmother is uh, Aranario Acero. Aranario Acero. So, ooh! Ang lula, parinti sa akong silingan. So, kay ang akong mga kwanda. Ano ba yung taga-bohol? Ano ba yung taga-garcia ito? Garcia. Si Hernandez. So, so, ang akong si Ganiya. Di naman si Kapitan Jesus. Kita ko mo? Oo. Oh. Oh. Ah, tapos, ang akong mga parinti niya. Sila ni... Kaya naman siguro mo ni... Kuan, Loling di Plaza. Oh, si Loling, Lolo Loling, ang iyang anak, gubernador karon sa Agusan, del Sur. Kung ano, tingnan kung ano. So, that's why uh, I, I was, I was uh, almost teary-eyed when I was listening to the choral. And you know, music really...